This is from research released by Towards Maturity in 2018. They run large scale learner surveys with organisations and they analyse the results from 10,000 workers. So I just want you to focus on the green bar in the middle, which is the average across the whole sample. The bars on the other side relate to different age groups and variations in age groups. So let's just take a look at what's happening here, what, what that data set is telling us. Firstly, about the biggest challenges for learning online. Time is the biggest challenge. And when people had more time, the content consumption went up. As soon as people are going back to the workplace, are getting busy again, or the novelty is wearing off, the consumption rates are starting to drop down. The content can sometimes be uninspiring, um, is another key turn off, or there are issues with access. Um, how do people like to learn? Here's some of the things that that data set told us. People like to be able to learn at their own pace, which is why self-paced access to content databases um, is quite attractive because people can do it when they want. They don't have to wait for a class to be scheduled. They like to have things that they can access at the point of need. Um, and this may not be content locked away in a learning management system. This talks more about things that they can access as they work to help them work. It could be checklists. It could be short videos that they can access through their working system. Um, and they're excited to use technology. So we're, we're on the right path with looking for ways to use technology to enable learning. But here's the thing that really stands out from this data set. When people were asked, what is most useful to help you learn? And there were a whole stack of um, other options available around e-learning, around classroom training, um, around engaging in external networks. Um, but what really stood out, the top three, collaborating with other people, support from my manager, and having a mentor or coach, they're all about connecting with people and learning from other people. Um, and people are saying these are the most useful ways to help me learn. And this was part of the classroom experience that was so valuable for people. So if we're denied the classroom and we're not putting people into classrooms where they can create connection, and we're just offering them online content, or if we're running our virtual classrooms in a way where we're not encouraging interaction and it's more about content being delivered in a virtual setting, then we're missing the mark around what people find most useful to learn. And we're missing the opportunity to connect people. 